stand and we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our presenter tonight, who's in charge of Quilt the Bellow Foundation, is Peggy Lux, and uh, she does an awesome job. Well, I do have to use the microphone. I've been told I'm soft-spoken. Um, thank you, Luana. I think that you did such a great job that perhaps you should just continue. <laughs> she, her knees were shaking, but you couldn't hear it. Um, my name is Peggy Luck, and I also have some military in my family, but I was glad that Luana could share hers with you. I want you to know that when I had presented a program and it was, uh, I had invited my dad to come because he didn't know what Quilts of Valor were. And so he came to the program and it got all over and he said, you know, you really forgot to say something important when you introduced yourself. I said, well, what was that? And he said, you forgot to tell him that you were made in America. <laughs> well, you have to know my dad and you have to know that I have a little bit of his humor too. So hopefully I won't say anything that will humor you in a wrong way. <laughs> tonight, but um, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have this opportunity to present Quilts of Valor. Um, yesterday was Veterans Day. You might be wondering why we're having this program today. Well, at the end of World War I, that was supposed to be the war that would end all wars. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the world paused to celebrate the dawn of what was supposed to be a continued peace. Well, as you know, it was a short-lived peace, and the day later became known as Veterans Day. And it was in the recognition for the sacrifices that our members in our armed forces had made. Tonight, I would like to start our program with reading you a poem about uh, veterans. And the name of the poem is I Am a Veteran. It was written by... Andrea, Andrea Christian Brett. You may know me the first time we meet. You may not know me the first time we meet. I'm just another you see on the street. But I am the reason you walk and breathe free. I am the reason for your liberty. I am a veteran. I work in the local factory all day. I own the restaurant just down the way. I sell you insurance, I start your IVs, and I've got the best looking grandkids you'll ever see. I'm your grocer, your banker, your child school teacher. I'm your plumber, your barber, and your family's preacher. But there's part of me that you don't know very well, and just listen a moment and I'll have a story to tell. I am a veteran. I joined the service while still in my teens I traded my prom dress for camouflage greens. I'm the first in my family to do something like this. I followed my father like he followed his. Defying my fears and hiding my doubt, I married my sweetheart just before I shipped out. I missed Christmas, then Easter, then the birth of my son. But I knew I was doing what had to be done. I served on the battlefront, I served on the base, I bound up the wounded and begged for God's grace. I gave orders to file, fire, I followed commands, I marched into conflict in far distant lands. In the jungle, the desert, on mountains and shores, in bunkers, in tents, on tents, on dank earthen floors. While I fought on the ground, in the air, on the sea, my family and friends were at home praying for me. For the land of the free and the home of the brave, I faced my demons in foxholes and caves. And then one dreaded day, without drummer or fife, I lost an arm. My buddy lost his life. 
I came home and moved on, but forever was changed. The pearls, uh, perils of war in my memory remained. I don't really say much. I don't feel like I can. But I left home a child, and I returned a man. There are thousands like me, thousands more who are gone, but their legacy lives as time marches on. White crosses in rows and names carved in queue remind us of what these brave souls had to do. I'm part of a fellowship, a strong, mighty band of each man and, wo and each woman who has served this great land. And when old, war old glory waves, I stand proud, I stand tall. I helped keep her flying over you and over all. I am a veteran. Today we recognize our service members' sacrifices in many ways and also recognize them for keeping the peace in between. Veterans Day has never been more necessary than it is today. We are now engaged in wars that have lasted longer than any prior war and fought by veterans who have deployed further and longer than any other of their ancestors. Our service members go where they are ordered and they do what they must and deserve our heart heartfelt thanks. They sign a contract to protect their country in any way that they are called upon to do. The stress that they undergo to leave their family, friends, career, and their country to fight for us is beyond what we as civilians have the capacity to comprehend. Sacrifices are also made by families, as Luana talked about, in support of soldiers. I'm not going to elaborate on that because Luana already touched on it. She stole my speech. <laughs> But I would like for you to know that for the Quilts of Valor family, family, every day is Veterans Day. I'd like to have all of the veterans that are here today please stand and be recognized. Uh, we want to thank each one of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, at this time, we are going to present several quilts of valor. We wish that we were able to present quilts to everyone who stood. 
However, that's not possible at this time. I don't know if there's any quilters in the crowd, but quilts take quite a bit of time and labor to make a handmade quality quilt. So in the future, we hope to get all of the veterans in the Turpin community covered with our quilts. Some of you may not be familiar with what the Quilts of Valor program is. The Quilts of Valor are wartime quilts, and they're stitched together with love and prayers and patriotism. The Quilts of Valor Foundation's mission statement is that United States military and veterans affected by war be covered with comforting and healing Quilts of Valor. Quilts of Valor is not about politics. Quilts of Valor is about people. The quilts are stitched together with patriotism, as I've said, and sometimes tears. Since its inception in 2003, the Quilts of Valor Foundation has awarded over 100,000 quilts. They've been awarded in the United States, in Germany, Iraq, and Afghanistan. These quilts are a tangible reminder of America's appreciation and gratitude to our military. It's our way of letting our soldiers and sailors, airmen, infantry, and all armed forces know that we on the home front respect and appreciate our freedom that they helped us sustain. We will not forget. Veterans, these quilts bring you a three-part message from the hearts of Needles and Friends Quilt Guild and the Southwest Kansas Quilts of Valor Foundation. First, we'd like to honor you for your service. We honor you for holding all that is dear to you and leaving that to stand in harm's way in a time of crisis and protecting the rest of us from the effects of war. We honor you, if you were not deployed, for supporting others who were on the front line with your, work, with your work that you supported them. Next, our quilters know that freedom is not free. The cost of our freedom is the dedication of lives of men and women like you, and this quilt is meant to say thank you. And finally, this quilt is meant to offer comfort to you and to remind, the, remind you that you are forever in our thoughts, in our prayers, and our hearts. There's something magical and healing that is emitted from the folds of these quilts. A quilt not only warms the heart with its beauty, it warms the body and it whispers of love in every stitch. Tonight, it's our privilege to award the following individuals with a quilt of valor in behalf of the Needles and Friends Quilt Guild and the Southwest Kansas Quilt of Valor group, and also all of those who are in attendance tonight. Veterans, as a gesture of gratitude from a grateful nation, we ask each of you to please come forward with a family member when I call your name to receive your quilt. Specialist Joel Dean Robertson. Luana, I'd like to say a few words. <laughs> Hold on, don't go away. What, a difference, what difference does a number make? Well, when it's a draft number, it can change an entire life. Specialist Joel Dean Robertson draft number was called and he had to make a quick adjustment to being a part of the United States Army for the next two years. In 1966, Dean was stationed at West Point where he trained cadets. As things changed during the Vietnam conflict, Robertson's boots hit the ground in Vietnam with weapon in hand as part of the infantry. The Tet 
T-E-T, offense, launched in January of 1968 by the Viet Cong, marked a significant escalade in the intensity of the Vietnam War. Robertson was there. Although it was quickly defeated, the Tet Offense rocked the resolve of Americans and fueled anti-war sent sentiment in the United States. When Specialist Robertson returned home, there was no fanfare, there was no welcoming, welcoming committees, and no bands playing. Without going into the details, the two years of 1966 to 1968 for Dean Robertson left lifetime scars. Specialist Robertson, your quilt is one of three quilts made by Michelle Fox this year. She chose the pattern and the red, white, and blue fabrics to comfort you and to remind you of the United States flag. The quilt top was then mailed to a woman by the name of Bonnie Devonport from Hedrick, Oklahoma, who joined the top, the backing, and the batting with custom machine quilting. I was the one who finished the quilt with a binding and added a label that was inscribed with your name. Your quilt is presented to honor you. It is being dedicated to your cousin Edward Eddie Lee Craig, a gunner who was killed in February 1970 in Vietnam. We hope that you will find comfort and healing and the true American patriotism within the folds of this quilt. This quilt of valor is your proper welcome home and we thank you for keeping our country free. Terry Nickerson. I don't mean to be disrespectful if I don't call out your rank. It's because I don't know it. Sergeant. Is that right? Okay. Sergeant Terrell D. Nickerson left his family and country when, as a young man, he deployed to Vietnam. He was a member of the United States Army and as a part of the crew on a ACAV, or Armored Ca Cavalry Assault Vehicle. During the Vietnam War, it was the mission of armored tanks to close with the enemy with firepower, maneuver, and then hit with shock action to destroy him. Sergeant Nickerson, your Quilt of Valor is made up of 20 Thank You Star blocks. Michelle Fox chose the fabric and cut each triangle, rectangle, and square. Katie Berg, also of Liberal, strategically stitched the many pieces together to form each star and then joined them with the red and white striped fabric. Their plan was to honor you with a quilt that would remind you of the stars and stripes of the American flag. Bonnie Devonport of Hedrick, Oklahoma, donated the batting for warmth and machine quilted your quilt. Being a Vietnam veteran means you fought during a time when United States citizens were either supportive of the war efforts or not, and they weren't shy about it. Soldiers were not always given the welcome home they deserved. Let this quilt of valor be your proper welcome home, and thank you and the thank you that you deserve. Your dedication to our country has not been forgotten. We thank you. Airman Eldon McIntyre. Snazzy shirt.
Airman Eldon McIntyre reported to Lemoore Naval Air Station in Lemoore, Colorado in 1968. He was assigned to the Squadron VA-125, which was a training squadron for new pilots. He would train them for 60 days on land and then take the pilots to train on aircraft carriers for 30 days. During his service, he traveled on two West Pacific cruises on aircraft carriers. We are grateful for the time that you spent training these pilots. Their, um, their commitment, because of you, has made quite a difference in our war effort. Airman Eldon McIntyre is very proud of the service that he provided for his country. Mr. McIntyre, the quilt of valor you are being honored with today was made by the grateful and talented hands of Luana Walker. She selected a variety of patriotic print fabric and then appliqued five golden stars to contrast. The blue fabric on the outside represents the United States Navy, as does the cuff on the presentation quick case that Luana also made. The quilt was machine quilted with patriotism by Janet Lewis. This quilt is a tangible symbol to honor you for your dedication to our country by your service in the United States Navy. We thank you with needle and thread. Airman First Class Frank Williams. Airman Williams enlisted in the United States Air Force on July 15 of 1951 and served for four years until July 14 of 1955. After basic training at San Antonio, Texas, he was stationed at Forbes Air Force Base in Topeka, Kansas. His job was on the fire rescue crew. When planes arrived in distress, it was his job to put out the fire by spraying the wreckage and then go into the plane to rescue the crew. If you recall the mission statement of the Quilts of Valor Foundation to comfort, keep in mind that not all of those affected by war are out of our country. Fortunately, Airman Williams didn't have to witness too many incidents where the passengers could not be saved and all of the passengers died. This was especially difficult since all of the passengers were fellow American mi military. Quilters in the Needles and Friends Quilt Guild of Liberal Kansas and Southwest Kansas Quilts of Valor members brought their red, white, and blue fabric, their sewing machines, threads, and star-spangled spirits together to sew the many blocks that make up your quilt. Their skillful hands and fellowship joined the blocks together to form the top. Mr. Dennis Buckholz of Seems Like Old Time Quilt Shop in Ellis, Kansas donated the batting and volunteered the machine quilting. Airman Williams, your quilt has 106,890 machine quilting stitches. We'd like for you to know that each stitch in this quilt is a gift from several grateful hearts as a tribute to you for your service in the United States Air Force. Thank you. Bobby Carpenter.
Petty Officer Bobby Carpenter. 29 years, four months, and four days, Petty Officer Bobby Carpenter served his country in the United States military. Mr. Carpenter enlisted and served stateside during the Vietnam era, and then eight months in the Mediterranean Sea with the 443rd Heavy Equipment Transport Unit. He traveled abo abroad, sorry, he traveled aboard the CVA-43 and the CVA-60 aircraft carriers. While on board, he experienced rough sailing and tropical storms. Even on an aircraft carrier, everything had to be locked down. His job ashore patrol in every port had him taking care of paperwork for sailors and Marines who got in trouble in port. Later, he enlisted in the Army Reserves in September of 1988 and served with the Army National Guard 161 Field Artillery Unit in Liberal, Kansas until 2010. Petty Officer Carpenter is proud of being able to serve the United States of America, mainly stateside. Being close to family while in the military is very important. Joining the service today, you'll more than likely see a different part of the world and not be able to enjoy this uh, being with family. The name of your quilt is Striped and Spangled. Terry Barnes of the Needles and Friends Quilt Guild provided the pattern to honor a veteran for their service. Michelle Fox of Liberal, Kansas cut the starred blue and white fabric and the grateful hands of Rosalie Luck, also of Liberal, and Janet Lewis of Turpin sewed the strips to form the top. Bonnie Devonport of Hedrick, Oklahoma machine quilted the quilt, adding batty for warmth and the large star quilting. Uh, next, myself, also of Liberal, applique 13 gold stars at the top and the bottom of the striped and spangled quilt. Striped and spangled is a cheerful homage to the United States flag. We pray that this quilt will warm your heart many times as it has ours as we participate in the Quilts of Valor program. We thank you for your service and helping maintain our country's freedom. Sergeant Michael J. Smith. <laughs> Yesterday I was on the way to Garden City. I presented four quilts of valor there at the St. Catherine's Hospital, and you know how bad the wind was? All the way up there, I was trying to get every tumbleweed off the road I could get. <laughs> Michael J. Smith served in the United States Army. He was deployed overseas to Vietnam from 1966 to 1968. His duties included those of a forward observer and recon sergeant. Soldiers in this MOS typically must meet a number of requirements that are not demanded of other military careers. A forward observer coordinates the placement of firepower on the enemy from ground forces. As a reconnaissance sergeant, Smith went into the jungle to observe for the purpose of identifying enemy activity. But a special memory for Michael while in Vietnam was seeing his first cousin, Miss America, Jane J. Rowe. In 2010, the Moda Fabric Company issued a challenge to quilters across the United States to make just one star quilt block for Quilts of Valor. Their goal was to get enough blocks together to make 100 quilts for our military. Well, they were overwhelmed when they received more than 10,000 star blocks. 
Since then, those blocks have been circulating around the United States and have been being sewn into quilts. The blocks in your quilt, Mr. Smith, are signed by the state where they were made by their quilter. They ended up in liberal Kansas within the patriotic hands of the Southwest Kansas Quilt of Valor Group. They were so sewn together to make this Falling Stars quilt by Luana Walker of Turpin, Oklahoma. Bonnie Devonport of Hedrick, Oklahoma Machine quilted it. This, is a, this quilt is a tangible symbol to honor you for your dedication to our country by your service in the United States Army in Vietnam. Let the star blocks of this quilt comfort you and show you that American citizens are grateful to you. We received numerous stars like that with different states on them, and I really think the recipients of those quilts should feel honored that the entire United States got together and made those blocks. Yours is the last quilt that we will make with those blocks. Captain Jack Mendenhall. Captain Jack Mendenhall was promoted to the rank of captain during his military service in the United States Army. He served from 1963 to 1967. During this time, he was stationed at Fort Belvoir, Virginia, and Fort Hood, Texas. He also served in Hawaii. Mendenhall is proud of being on the 50 Mile Swim Club. Now, how is that for somebody from the Southwest, from the Midwest? Jack had made many great friends as a result of his enlistment, and he still keeps in touch with them. The name of your quilt is Long May She Wave. It is made up of blocks of the nine patch pattern. Quilters in the Southwest Kansas Quilts of Valor group met on National Quilts of Valor Sew Day, and as teams, they made these blocks. Some measured, some cut the fabric, some pressed, some sewed the seams, and some told of their own families that were in the military. Their patriotic spirit flowed from their hearts into your quilt. It was quilted by Bonnie Devonport. The label on the back of the quilt has been inscribed with the name Captain Jack Mendenhall. The story of this quilt now becomes your story. We thank you for your service in the United States Army and also for paving the way for our youth to enlist and serve their country. We'd like for the Mendenhalls to stay in the front for just one more moment. They have a son that's in the military. He is a master chief. His name is Tim Mendenhall. Because he is in active duty, he's not able to be here tonight. So um, his mother and father are going to accept his quilt to honor him. As I said, Jack paved the way for younger people to enlist, and Tim was one of them. Tim Mendenhall went into the Navy in 1990 and is active in the Navy Special Services. He has had several deployments, including orders to report to Iraq two times and Afghanistan once. His present duty is that of an NODCM, Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technician Master Chief Petty Officer. Mendenhall has been in the Secret Service for several high-ranking people, including being a sweeper for President Clinton. Being in the Secret Service, he has said to his parents many times, if I tell you, tell you some things, I'll have to kill you. <laughs> he has also been an instructor for Explosive Ordnance Disposal School, 
EOD. Master Chief Tim Mendenhall and one of his units were chosen to write a blessing at the top of the New World Trade Center. His mother doesn't know what they wrote, but they signed each of their names and their rank. Mendenhall's quilt was made of a collection of patriotic stripes of fabric separated by red squares or cor cornerstones. The thankful hands of Louise Wyrick of Plains, Kansas sewed the fabric together to form the top. The squares represent the building blocks of the New World Trade Center. The quilt is adorned with five flag units. They were donated for the quilt by Luana Walker and sewn into place by myself. Bonnie Devonport added the batting and machine quilted it. Wyrick, Walker, Devonport, and myself are all active supporters of the Quilt of Valor mission to honor our military. You've noticed I've read their names several times. Mr. and Mrs. Mendenhall, we thank you, we thank your son for over a decade of military service in the United States Special Services. He continues to protect the freedom that we appreciate and we thank him for that. We trust that you will see that he is honored, honorably presented with this quilt of valor. Second Class Petty Officer Nancy B. Ray. Mary Brown and Carolyn Gines requested this quilt of valor for Nancy B. Ray. Nancy chose to serve in the United States Navy for four years from 1953 to 1957. This was an interesting choice for someone from the dry flatlands of the Midwest. Second class Petty Officer Nancy B. Ray worked in supply at the Technical Library. She enjoyed the people she served with and has many special memories of them. Nancy, this quilt was chosen for you because of its feminine appeal. It was designed and sewn by the hands of Anna Hill of Plains, Kansas. Anna has participated in the Quilts of Valor program by donating her time and resources to make several Quilts of Valor. She hand appliqued the sunflowers to remind you of the great Midwest. She then quilted the quilt on her long arm quilting machine and all of the fabric that was used in this quilt was donated by Anna Hill. Petty Officer Ray, we are privileged to honor you today with this unique Quilt of Valor. There is no other quilt like this one. It is a unique as a person we are presenting it to. Your quilt is a symbol to honor you for your dedication to our country by your service in the United States Navy. Third class, Petty Officer Dustin Wellendorf. Now I had to look up some things because I didn't pay attention in history when I was in school. It rated right up there with health for me and now I wish I had. So I hope that information that I'm giving Mr. Wellendorf is accurate. <laughs> Aviation ordnance are responsible for handling of munitions on aircraft carriers and some on land. Their presence in Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts has been of great importance. Aviation ordnance was Dustin Wellendorf's job as he served his country as part of Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom in Iraq and Afghanistan. He was part of the United States Navy from 2002 to 2006. He's thankful for his service in the Navy and he still helps serve his community by being a volunteer firefighter and helping around his church. 
Third Class Petty Officer Dustin Wellendorf, your quilt was requested to honor you by Stan and Jan Foster and the church family of Turpin United Methodist Church. It was respectfully made by the grateful hands of Luana Walker using the pinwheel blocks made by members of the Needles and Friends Quilt Guild in Liberal, Kansas. She has named the quilt Navy Propellers. It was quilted by Cheryl's Quilt Corner in Guymon, Oklahoma. The pinwheels on this quilt were chosen to remind you of the spinning propellers of Navy ships. We are constantly reminded of the reason our military is being deployed to the Middle East. The Quilts of Valor family and the Needles and Friends Quilt Guild wish to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your service in your part of Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. Your quilt is being dedicated to all United States Navy veterans. They are not forgotten. Dan Durson. This quilt has his name on it. It's inscribed on it. He will get it. Chief Master Sergeant Earl Rook. Chief Master Sergeant Earl Rook gave 30 years of his life to defend his country. During those years, he served in the United States Air Force, including three tours in Korea. His job was in the Air Weather Service, or meteorology. He recalls being a TV weatherman during his second Korean tour. He also has special memories of the great people he served with. Have you noticed that that's kind of been a common factor? The camaraderie in the military is so strong. Your wife, Norma Rook, requested that you be honored with this quilt of valor. She is very proud of you for giving 30 years to the United States Air Force. There's a label on the back of this quilt which has your name permanently on it. This quilt is now the heirloom which will document your service for future generations. Cindy Shearcock of Guymon, Oklahoma, and myself decided that your quilt needed to be bright. We cut and placed red squares between the nine patch blocks made by the members of the Needles and Friends Quilt Guild and Southwest Kansas Cult of Valor members. The group meets monthly to sew for our veterans and active military. Cindy cut and pressed the fabric and I sewed. The finished quilt top was then sent to B Bonnie Devonport and she donated the batting and the machine quilting. Luana Walker completed the edge of the quilt with binding, and she also added the label. On the front of this quilt, some of the fabric has little airplanes on it. We thought that was perfect for Mr. Rook. Chief Master Sergeant Rook, let the softness of the fabric and the abundance of well wishes from quilters remind you that American citizens are still very grateful to you.
Staff Sergeant Floyd Watson. Staff Sergeant Floyd Watson enlisted in the Army and served from May of 1978 to February of 1981. He served his country in Darstadt, West Germany and at Fort Bragg. Did you get Darstadt? I didn't take German either. <laughs> Two and a half years later, in September of 1983, he enlisted again, this time in the Army National Guard, where he served until September of 2000. Watson knows how important military is to this fine country and is glad to have been a part of the military and to serve his country. Your quilt was started by the collection of red, white, and blue fabric by the Needles and Friends Quilt Guild. The stars in the quilt are called thank you stars. The fabric was accurately cut by Michelle Fox and the star blocks and the top were completed by the grateful hands of Rhonda Widener of Liberal Kansas. Anna Hill of Plains, Kansas was the quilter who stitched the three layers together to form the quilt by donating the batting and the backing fabric. There are star-spangled star shapes in the quilting to represent the stars of the American flag. We pray that this quilt will warm your heart many times as it has ours as we've participated in the Quilts of Valor program. We thank you, Staff Sergeant Floyd Watson, and the military for their service and keeping our country free. Specialist Gene King. We're saving the best for last. I know he's thinking that. <laughs> Specialist, fourth class, Gene W. King served in the United States Army for two years from 1958 to 1960. He worked on the guidance systems of the Nike Hercules guided missile. During those two years, he was stationed at Fort, Car Fort Carson, Colorado, New Jersey, and then at Fort MacArthur at San Pedro, California. One of his special memories was hitchhiking home. You know those guys in their uniforms. They look pretty sharp. Well, he was first picked up at Fort Mammoth, New Jersey, and was sat down in front of his mother's house by the second ride. Specialist King's Quilt of Valor was made and donated by Frederica Seaman of Periton, Texas. The pattern is called the Big Star Quilt. Bonnie Devonport added the batting for warmth and volunteered her time and thread to machine quilt your quilt. This is the second Quilt of Valor using this pattern that Mrs. Seaman has donated to the Quilts of Valor Foundation to honor Army serviceman such as yourself. A quilt not only warms the heart with beauty, it warms the body and whispers of love in every stitch, as I mentioned before. May this quilt warm you and be a constant reminder of the appreciation of the citizens of the United States for your service and work with the Nike Hercules Guide Missiles. Thank you. Each of our recipients tonight have received a certificate of appreciation from the um, Maine Quilts of Valor Foundation. It has the signature of the president of the foundation on one side and the, my signature on the other as a representative for Southwest Kansas. I would like to address our recipients now. In appreciation of your service and sacrifice in pursuit of your military career, we have presented this Quilt of Valor to you veterans. The quilts were made were with best wishes 
for your health, your well-being, and inner peace while providing you with warmth and comfort. You and your military service are deeply appreciated by the many Quilts of Valor volunteers. We honor your service supporting peace, diplomacy, and our freedoms throughout our country. Additionally, we wish to extend a heartfelt thank for paving the way for younger people entering the military today. Though we may never know the depth of your sacrifice to protect and defend the United States of America, today we present these quilts to honor you. It's our desire that you be covered with this quilt and that it will become an heirloom which documents your service to the United States. It's our hope that someday a child will be holding your quilt and will say, Daddy, what is war? Veterans, as you cover yourself in this quilt, consider yourself hugged by the volunteers who have made it. And each one of the quilts that we give out, our final touch is the hug that you receive tonight. It doesn't just come from the person giving the hug, however, she's very good. It comes from the entire Quilts of Valor family, family and the Southwest Kansas Quilters and the Needles and Friends Quilt Guild. We wish to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Would the veterans that have received the quilts please stand? If you could face the rest of the people instead of me for just an instant, Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you the faces of our freedom. You may be seated. We will be closing our program tonight with the Battle Hymn of Republic. If you know the words and you want to sing along and you feel like it, you go right ahead. And then Lawana will give us some closing remarks. Thank you so much for your attendance. <laughs> 